Have you ever had a line appear on your document that you can't seem to get rid of? It could be due to a built-in line generating feature in Word. In this video, I show you how this feature works, how to control it, and finally disclose how to get rid of those bothersome lines in your document. By default, Word takes some liberties with what you type. One such liberty is the adding of borders to paragraphs based on what you type. For instance, watch what happens when I type three underlines in this document right here. Once I press enter, Word puts a line all the way across the screen from margin to margin. This is not the only three characters that can result in this type of replacement. For instance, I could, if I wanted to, type three equal signs in here, and when I press enter, I get a double line all the way across from margin to margin. If you don't know about this feature in Word, it can be a bit frustrating. The feature is controlled by going over and displaying the Options dialog box. We'll click it right down here. And now once that options, Word Options dialog box is displayed, then we want to click Proofing, and then we're going to click on Autocorrect Options right here. Finally, we want to click the Auto Format As You Type tab, that option right there. Now notice, right down here, there's an option that says Border Lines. It's that option that controls whether those border lines are added automatically just by repeating three little characters and pressing Enter. If you want to turn it off, all you have to do is clear that checkbox and then go ahead and close the various dialog boxes that you see on the screen. I'm going to leave it on here for a moment so I can show you how uh, this behavior works within your document. We'll click on OK and then we'll click on OK to get rid of the Word Options dialog box. Now that you know what causes these lines, you may be wondering how to get rid of them once they're in your document. As with any auto format that is applied by Word, you can undo the change by pressing Control Z right after the change is made. For instance, if I go down here and I press uh, three hyphens, just like that, and press Enter, I get a thin line all the way from margin to margin. But if I immediately press Control Z, I go back to just the three hyphens. If, however, you already have the line within your document and you want to get rid of it, well, there's two things that you can do that will help you. First, remember that the line that's added by Word is really a paragraph border. It's not a real line. Second, you need to display Word's non-printing characters. You'll notice that I have the non-printing characters visible on the screen here, but watch what happens if I turn off the non-printing characters. All of a sudden, we can see the line, but it's harder to tell that this line is a border to a paragraph. If we turn on the non-printing characters, we can see where the paragraph marks are, and we can see that border in relation to those paragraph marks. To get rid of that line, all I have to do is position the insertion point at the beginning of that line, the beginning of the paragraph, and press the delete key and it went away. Notice that the heavy single line that was from margin to margin is now gone within my document because I pressed the delete key in the right place. I'm gonna press Control Z to put that line back in there, that paragraph back in there. And I understand that you might not be able to press the delete key in there to get rid of that. Why? Because there may be text within your document for that paragraph and pressing the delete key at the beginning of it won't get rid of that line. In that case, what you need to do is you need to select the entire paragraph that has that border in it, and then I'm gonna go ahead and press Control Q. Notice that that border is now gone. Why? Because Control Q resets the paragraph's formatting back to its default, which usually does not include the border. There is something else that is helpful to remember when getting rid of borders created by auto format. Those borders can affect multiple paragraphs. For instance, if I go down here to the beginning of this paragraph with the double border underneath it, 
I'm going to press enter a few times and you'll notice that we've just moved that border down. Now if I want to get rid of that border and I do the exact same thing that I did a minute ago, I'm going to select that entire paragraph right there and I'm going to press control Q and watch what happens on the screen. All we did is that the border moved up a paragraph. We actually removed it from the paragraph that I had selected, but the previous paragraphs, the ones before that one, also had that border displayed. Since the line is really a paragraph border, it appears at the bottom of the last paragraph that has the format. When I press Control Q a moment ago, the border was, was removed from the last of the paragraphs, but it still remained on the other two. Thus, the border appeared to jump up a line. All that really happened was that Word dutifully displayed the bottom border on the last paragraph with that format, which now happens to be the second of the original three paragraphs. To get rid of the border on all the paragraphs, you need to select all of them and press Control Q. If you don't want to do this, well, perhaps you don't want to remove some other explicit paragraph formatting that you have, you can follow these steps. Go ahead and select all of the paragraphs, or you can select all of the paragraphs in your document. I'm going to select all of them in the document by pressing Control A. With the Home tab of the ribbon displayed, I'm going to click the down arrow that is next to the Borders tool, this one right here. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to select No Border right there. And when I select that, notice that all of my borders are gone, but the other formatting at a paragraph level remains within the document. These steps remove the borders from all the paragraphs and all the tables within the document. I hope that you found this video helpful and if you have lines that seem to persist longer than you want, your frustration level will go down. Be sure to click the subscribe button below this video and then click the bell icon. That way YouTube will let you know whenever new videos are added to the Word Tips channel. Thanks for spending a few minutes with me today.